Morning, guys. Uh, oh, a bit of a frustration with host here at the minute. Um, they have this malware stuff that they sell, and it's called Site Locker uh, or Site Lock. Um, they push it heavily. Now, I'm not saying just take my word for it. And the whole point of this video is actually is turn around your guys, say go and Google the people around the web. They've had similar stuff happen. Um, I got approached probably about a week ago now, perfect timing because my internet's off, uh, telling me that there's malware on my sites. And I'm like, well, how did that even get on there? Um, and they're like, oh, but we can sell you this uh, site locker. And obviously what they do is they disable all your sites because they know it's going to cost you money. Rather than actually turn around and saying, we've locked down where the problems are, they shut the whole lot down get a bit of a panic, because site locker is quite expensive. Um, overpriced software, to put it lightly. A lot of these things are related to WordPress sites, and one thing I will say about WordPress is Google malware protection. There's free software out there that does it just as good, if not better, than site lock anyway, uh, for free. Um, but the point being is, they said, oh, this is here, I deleted it. This is it, delete it. And the, this morning, they've sent me another one going, oh, uh, well, they sent me one the other day saying, oh, for only $35, we'll do a full clean on your site. And I'm like, but I don't think this malware is actually genuine because when they said it was here, here, and here, um, I went through 90% of them, they weren't even there. The files weren't there at all. And when I sent it through, they said, it's all, I, it, I deleted it. They said, okay, fine. Well, I hadn't put it there. I didn't even remove it. It was never there. Um, so I would say I think it's possibly a scam um, purely to force small businesses to pay up some cash because I think it's about $600, $600 to buy or whatever. This they, they put monthly subscriptions and everything else on it. It just seems a complete con. Um, what I've done today is basically told them, well, you've damaged two of my sites now. Um, I'm not really fussed because I, in all honesty, Cibo uh, Expat's completely knackered now. I have got a backup of it, but as I said to April now, we've moved on from that. Um, and it was messed up anyway because it got hacked years ago um, when it was on another server. Um, so there was lots of images missing and stuff, in all honesty. It was all about information in the first place. It wasn't. It never really made that much money. Um, I mean, it was all right when when we when I first set it up, but these days we've moved past that. So I'm not really fast. If anything, deleting it has actually reduced my server space considerably, um, which means, as I said to Hostgate this morning, either you sort it or I'm going to move all the ex existing sites to other servers because you've just got me to delete two of the largest sites, so whatever. Because um, that was the thing, I wasn't really fast, so I just wiped the whole thing. I'm just like, yeah, get rid of it. I'm not Because they're not the paying sites, this is the thing, I do a lot of stuff online and those sites do not make much revenue, so I couldn't care less. Um, but the reason I'm putting this video out there is if you get these emails, because it seems that they send them to everybody or a lot of people on a regular basis, Google scam, site lock scam, hostgator scam, one-to-one -one hosting scam, whatever, they're all doing it. And it's just to get you to buy into this stuff, which costs like $2 a month for scans and stuff, and you can get plug-in for WordPress, etc. They do it for free. It's just a scam. I mean, see, the, the reason I'm saying scam, I know some people are going to go, oh, but it's not a scam. They're just trying to sell you something. Well, the reason it's a scam is if they're forcing this stuff onto other people, and if you read some of this stuff online, they will tell you there was no malware or anything on their sites. It wasn't there at all. And as I just said myself, when I went through, I couldn't find a lot of this stuff they were talking about. It didn't exist. So... I think a lot of this is they're assuming you're putting trust in them and they're abusing it. And that's my personal opinion. Um, they did do this to me probably about three years ago when I told them to shove it up their uh, backside. And they just sort of went, okay, 
and that was it. But they're now doing it, it seems a lot more severe because they're actually pulling their sights down, which is very, very naughty. Especially if it's just for cashing in. It's obviously blackmailing tactics, in my view. Um, this is why this one will be demonetized. I'm sure um, this ain't going to be advertiser friendly. But I wanted to make this aware out there so that you guys go and research this stuff. Do not trust what they're doing. One thing I've learned over the years, my trust levels have dropped with companies severely, like a stone, um, because this is the sort of crap you get. They build trust and then abuse it. It's just wrong. All right, thanks for watching.